Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to cover list groups. List groups are really cool components for displaying and organizing lists of components, data, and elements. And they also provide custom content and really cool styling. It all just groups it nicely together. So in this video, it's gonna show you some basic example of this and further videos will expand on what we do in here. So to create a list group, you do a unordered list. And the unordered list has a class. I think you might have guessed it. List group, so it's list dash group. Inside here, you simply put all the list items that you want. The list item has a class of list dash group dash item. Then inside here, you put what you want. So I'm going to put property one and just copy and paste that. And it's two, three, four, save it. We go back to our browser, refresh. There we go, we have a list of items. But you can also easily add labels to your items so it helps you display sort of like the activity that's going on for that particular property that item also like if you if it's some sort of notifications system how many unread notifications you have or how many unread emails new emails that sort of stuff so what we're going to do is copy and paste it so you can see the difference between it with and without labels so what you need to do keep it as it is probably best if we put it on a separate line because we need more code inside the list item this as it is does not get changed we just add more code to it so at the start just put a span and this span has a class of label and label dash default and now for this do label dash pill so i'm going to do a pill label and pull dash right because I want to position on the right hand side. We don't have to do any CSS to make you float all the way to the right. Bootstrap handles all that for you using classes. So I'm just going to put a number here, 56 for example. And I'm also just going to copy and paste this. Do, do, do. do the same again. And then finally, do the same. And just change these numbers up a bit. Zero, 23, and nine. Refresh, go here, save. And there we go. We actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna add a new line simply because it didn't look very good so we have our regular list group then we have a list group with labels and it easily shows us our let's say unread count notifications that sort of stuff so if i just resize this browser as you can see it's always anchored on the right and it adjusts very nicely as we adjust the browser so this on a mobile device will look quite cool and then on a desktop device it works very well as well so if you have any questions about this feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, as it really does help us provide more content and grow. Plus it also lets us know what you like and what you don't like about the video, so future videos can be better and that's good for everyone and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day